How do we get here? You behind bars, David, gone. You should go. And go where? Yacht Club, Wildwood? Maybe to the mall where everybody wants to take my picture. Family, you should go. I'm serious. We shouldn't be seen like this together. This is uh, my attorney, Roy Gibson. Roy, this is Greenlee. Greenlee? You're Dr. Hayward's... Uh, widow, I guess. So, where are we, uh, Roy? We're expecting the autopsy results today. Uh, I think it's time we consider cutting a deal. You want Ryan to plead guilty? If Hayward died from the fight, you're looking at a murder charge. Life in prison. You didn't murder him. I know you. I don't know what happened to David. I don't want to think about Green it. Night. But you're not pleading guilty. You're not going to prison. I turned myself in. I knew what I was getting myself no, into. No, no, you have too much to live for. You have everything. You have Emma. You have Spike. You have a future. You have... I'm not abandoning you, Ryan. Not after everything you've done for me. Well, just don't, don't run off and, and do something crazy and get yourself in handcuffs like Kendall, okay? I told you that there was going to be a way out. I, I want you to take it. I'll get my father to help with your case. Everyone's going to want to help you because they care about you. They love you. Heard the great news. No more fake evidence hanging over your head. So Ryan's locked up. But you're free to go. Ryan's in jail, and you're the one who's free. So nice how that worked out for you. You think I'm happy about this? You think I'm celebrating Ryan locked behind bars, uh, uh, the fact that David is gone? Your husband blackmailed you. You got away, and Ryan and, and Kendall pay the price? Madison Greenlee honestly had no choice. She would have been arrested for attempted murder, and Liza would have had more evidence on me. Because if I knew that David was blackmailing her, then it would have given me real motive to, to kill him. Because everyone knows that you would do anything to protect her. But you could spend the rest of your life in prison. Madison. I, no, you know what? I mean, she's right. About all of it. About all the collateral damage around me. David didn't deserve to die, and you don't deserve to be in there. Greenlee, can I talk to Madison alone, please? Ryan needs your help. You never should have pulled him into this. I didn't ask for his help. I certainly didn't ask for it to end like this. Oh, well, you just thought David would let you walk away and everything would be clean? We all know how Ryan is. He, he comes to your rescue even if he didn't send out a distress call. I told him so many times I could handle David on my own. But you knew Ryan would never back off. And then David finally pushed him too far. We don't know what happened. Greenlee, we have a pretty good idea. Okay, we all know that Ryan isn't a murderer. But, I mean, given his history, this doesn't look good. You know, maybe it's time for you to own this, Greenlee. Bianca. She's right. I should have done this a long time ago. Done what? Come clean about everything I did. All of it. So many people have done so much for me. You stepped up for my company. You risked going to jail to help me. Ryan's facing murder charges, and David... I can't let him go to his grave, taking all the blame for the things I did. What did you do, Greenlee? I fixed the books to make it look like Erica stole from the Miranda Center. David helped me, but it was all my idea. I was angry. A year of my life was gone. My fiance and my best friend betrayed me. I, I had nothing except fusion. And I couldn't stand the idea of Erica taking it away. I would have done anything to hold on to it, and so I did. The plane. I asked David to keep Erica. 
out of town until after the scandal hit, so she'd look even more guilty. I didn't know that he was gonna mess with her plane, and when I found out, I was horrified. But I kept quiet to protect him and myself. So you could have ended this months ago. If you had just said something, Ryan wouldn't be in jail. David would. And he'd still be alive. I was selfish, and everyone suffered because of it. If I could go back and change everything, I would. David would be alive. Ryan would be free. Please, believe me from the bottom of my heart. I am so, so sorry. All this time, I've been helping you get away from David. Uh, convincing myself that you had nothing to do with that plane crash. Because no matter how much you hated my mother, I never believed that you would actually help David kill her. It, it all got so out of hand. Out of hand? We thought she was dead. Uncle Jack searched the woods for her body. My children had nightmares. You never meant to hurt Erica. You meant to send her to prison. No. But then just ruin her reputation? You could have destroyed our company. Everything that we worked so hard for. I was sick about it. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. Oh, okay, but you could save yourself and you could, you could protect your husband, the man who tried to kill her. I finally told Ryan. Oh, you told only enough to ease your guilty conscience. Before I burned that evidence, you thanked me for believing that you would never hurt my mother. I didn't do it in words. But all you did was care about saving yourself and David. He saved my life. I'm, I am so sick and tired of hearing that. When I woke up, everything that I cared about was gone. Everyone had moved on and forgotten about me. I felt so alone, except for David. He was there for me. He held my hand. But the choices we made, we just weren't good together, and he just couldn't accept that. Why couldn't he just accept that? Because he was David. And you should have known better. <sighs> Granny, we have been friends a very long time. And I have forgiven you for a lot. But this, Kendall, please. No, I risked my freedom for you. I risked my marriage. My, my son's, my son's father, he's in prison. I'm gonna get those charges dropped. I, I'll make sure of it and I will help you any way I can. No, no, I don't want your help. What you just admitted is huge. Okay, but we can't deal with that right now. Our only focus is getting Ryan out of jail and keeping Kendall from going back there. We can work together. No. No, we can't. I'm Greenlee Hayward, and uh, I need to make arrangements to have my husband's body taken to the funeral home. I'm sorry for your loss. I'll be just a minute. You really are worried, aren't you? Ryan could go to prison for life. That won't happen. It certainly could. The man did want me dead. No one can deny that, especially you. You're the reason he did it, Greenlee. Don't say that. It's the truth. Ryan murdered me for you. Aren't you the least bit sorry about that? More than you could ever imagine. I need to have these transcribed immediately. Did you finish the autopsy? Yes. Your husband didn't die the way we thought. Was it killed by blunt force? It wasn't the fight? No. Did he die of natural causes? No, I'm afraid not. Then what was it? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your husband was poisoned. 